Hello world, this is Dennis, and I got a new video for you today. Um, I've got some questions for the uh, ham radio community. Now, the other day I picked up uh, this book from Ham Radio Outlet. It's the AWRL's uh, Small Antennas for Small Spaces book. And the reason why I picked it up is because um, it's got an entry in here about inverted L's, which is what I'm currently using for my HF antenna. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, in here, um, I'll show you the diagram. It uh, shows that your um, the vertical part is about 20 feet, and then the the horizontal feet, um, part of the, of the antenna is um, 80 feet, which is pretty similar to the setup that I have. Um, the way I got figured, the vertical part is uh, at its apex, about 25 feet off the ground, and then the horizontal part going out to the front lawn is about 84 feet. Um, granted, when I made the thing, the measurements was was not exactly well. It wasn't <laughs> exact. I pretty much had a uh, collapsible ruler, which was about six feet long, and I was you know pulling about approximately you know six foot lengths of wire so it's like I said it's uh, <laughs> approximately about 80, 84 feet or so going out to the front lawn um, now the thing with this uh, inverted L is <coughs> excuse me um, it's um, the SWR is under you know three to one on forty meters. Um, the last time I checked using the SWR graph on the IC seventy three hundred, um, it gets down to about like let's say like you know two two point five, and on uh, like seventeen meters it's it's under three to one, and I forgot what it was on ten meters. But that's the three bands that the radio likes that I can. Uh, you know that its internal tuner can, you know, tune it up on. For everything else, I have to use the external tuner. Now, what I'm wondering is, is there a way to make the rate or the antenna um, resonant to, you know, bring down the SWR? Um, is, would I have to, you know, shorten the antenna, lengthen it? Um, is there something I would have to do with the radials? I'm not 100% sure. The reason why I'm asking, because in the book here, it shows using um, a remote automatic antenna tuner at, you know, where the, at the base of the antenna. Now, my understanding is an ant antenna tuner doesn't make the antenna resident, it just makes your radio happy. So what I'm wondering is, is there a way to make, like I said, make the inverted L resonant on multiple bands so I won't have to use, you know, the antenna tuner as much. Now I know somebody will say, well why don't you make, you know, antennas for each, you know, band that you want to be resonant on. And that is a, um, I do have a plan for once the this polar vortex from hell goes away <laughs> and things warm up, um, I have a plan. I want to make myself a 20 meter antenna, um, quarter wave vertical um, wire antenna, which is easy enough. It's like um, I did the calculations. The the um, vertical part is well, at 16 point. 16.64 feet or something like that, and then you just need some gr ground radials, and there you go. I would have a you know resident antenna for 20 meters. But for the inverted L, like I said, if possible, I'd like it to be resonant or at least drop the SWR some more on the three bands that it works with. So, like I said, is there a way to do that? You know, do I lengthen the antenna, shorten the antenna, or <coughs> excuse me? Is this as good as it's going to get that I'll need the antenna tuner to, you know, help out? You know, am I just stuck with the results that I'm getting? So, if anybody can, you know, help me out with that, you know, you know, leave a comment below. Or if you know of some other books that I can purchase that will help me out with my dilemma here, that would, you know, be greatly appreciated. As always, I want to thank you for watching the video, and peace and all that good stuff. Okay, this is a 
a quick add-on to the, um, the video that I just made here. I'll just um, splice it together. I finally found some audit or um, editing software for videos that actually works pretty good. But anyhow, um, after thinking about it, um, the horizontal portion of the vertical L, that's not 80 feet. It's altogether the length of the wires over 80 feet. Because it's... Um, after thinking about it, it's like uh, I forgot how how many feet it's like sixty some feet from the tree to the um, post out front where I have the painter pole holding up the other end of the antenna. So altogether, the total length of the antenna is about eighty four feet. So, um, so you, so you got the twenty five feet, and then the <coughs> excuse me, and then uh, was that actually actually that'd be like what 59 feet or something like that going out to the front so yeah it's it's about 84 feet or so um, approximately because um, now that I think about it some more there's some extra length of wire um, going down the painter pole that I have supporting the end of the horizontal part of the wire I don't know that how long that is but and now I think of it some more it's hit after all the wind and stuff, the antenna's drooping. So, approximately, let's say the total length of wire is about 84 to 86 feet ish. So, I just wanted to add that. And um, I just want to clarify the reason why I'm asking these questions is because I want to make the antenna better. I want to improve the SWR. As it is, it is working because I've, I've made contacts um, down into Florida on 20 meters and all the way out to Arizona on 17 meters so it does work but I know it can be better so that's what I'm hoping to do that's why I'm asking these questions to make the antenna better so hopefully you know that helps and that clarifies everything for everybody peace and all that good stuff